We are PhD Comics. And we want to know why. Today, we find ourselves at the Comic Arts Conference, a subset of Comic-Con where people actually study comics. Here we meet with Keegan Lannon to ask the question, how do comics speak to us? The more sort of abstracted the comic is, the more the person can relate to it. Comic-Con! We are here outside the Comics Arts Conference with Keegan Lannon, who is actually a PhD student studying um, the art of comic books, or the, the art form, or the narrative of comic books. I've been working for the last three years on my PhD, which deals with the way comic books tell stories. Like when you pick up a book and you see words on the page, what does the mind do when it scans across the page and it reads all the words and sort of puts something together? And then what can we learn about sort of information and communicative processes by the way that narratives tell stories? What does that say about people? What does that say about cultures? How do cultures tell stories? What my work tries to do is look at that on a more theoretical level. This is one way to separate the different ways text can be used in comics. I have broken it down into four central categories and each category has two variants. First, the neuro-linguistic text. And so what are some of the things that you have discovered in your research? Well, first I've discovered comics are far more popular than you would imagine. I mean, we're sitting here in Comic-Con, there's 145,000 people. When I tell people I'm going to Comic-Con, everyone thinks that it's, very, it's a surprising thing for an academic person to do. But everybody's heard of it. Everybody's read a comic, everybody knows a comic. It's one of the most pervasive art forms, especially in America, but even abroad. Can you tell me what's unique or different about comic books as opposed to art or literature or film? In art, in literature, and film, you have a lot of static media and then you have very dynamic media. And what comics represent within that is a sort of middle ground in that spectrum. You have something that suggests movement, that suggests dynamic reading experience, but doesn't do that. This is what Scott McCall calls closure. So you have one panel where a guy has his hand raised up and he's about to punch somebody in the face. And then you have the next panel where the guy is being punched in the face. Your mind creates that fluid arc where you see in your mind's eye the punch come and land. And it's that sort of suggested movement, that suggested dynamic nature of comics. So it doesn't go as far as film does, but it doesn't stay as still as words. Huh, that's really true. It's dynamic while being static. Yeah. Huh. A lot of people say that comics are far more interactive than literature. It conveyed in different ways, you experience it in different ways. It's a, the individual reader has a different experience than the next individual reader. Do you think that personal experience is part of the staying power of comics? Yeah, there's, there's something that everybody can find that they like in comics. And when you read Superman, when you read Mouse, when you read uh, the Peanuts comic strip, there's always something that somebody can find. The more sort of abstracted the comic is, the more the person can relate to it. So uh, when you look at things like the, a lot of the web comics, when you look at like FKCD, when you look at you know, PhD comics, obviously, when you look at things like that, they're very simple art and people can put themselves into it. You know, when I'm working on my PhD and I go to PhD comics and I see that you know, Jorge and all of these people are struggling with this, that's, I can put myself into it. I feel like I am in that comic and that individual reading experience lends itself to a wide audience. You can say a lot in a more concise way by the perfect graph. So in a lot of people's PhD theses, they, they take up so much space on the page to describe something. When really just a good graph and a nice caption will do that job so much better. When you read comics, you sort of understand the power that the image has. You can see that this is a powerful tool for communicating an idea in a lot of different ways. That's awesome. Yeah. Is that good? This is my Welsh Superman shirt. They are selling this at a record store. That's the Welsh flag. And oh, they that's put that. so cool! <laughs> yeah. There's the Welsh flag and the guy with the oh Superman logo. I really like that shirt. <laughs> <laughs>